breakfast here is good. Okay, good morning. Uh, breakfast, as you've probably seen, looked amazing. And today we're going to the Holocaust Memorial Museum, the Yad Vashem. All right, okay, we're outside now. Uh, we're on our way to the Yad Vashem. We asked the guy at reception the best way to get there. Uh, just get on the tram, basically. The one that's coming now, get on that, get off of the last stop, and then it should be on the right. White and black, black oh. and white. Right, me lads. We are off the tram now. Headed towards, I don't know if you can see it at the top. Yad Vashem, which is this way, but I want to go this way quickly. Because there's a pretty cool view. And you know vlog would be complete. Sorry, I don't know why I'm talking like that. Um, no vlog would be complete without <coughs> that as a view. That is Stunning. That's magic. I'll stop talking about it and just show you. Tram, we started walking to the Yad Vashem. Um, and on the way towards it, like the two minutes around the corner from that view, We've passed this sign. It's free every 20 minutes. But we don't know how far it is, and we kind of want to risk walking it. But I'm guessing if there's a shuttle bus, it must be far. But then is it just because, like, more elderly people struggle to walk? I don't know. It's not far, it's a two minute drive from into the timetable. It's a two minute drive. Do you want to walk? Yeah. Okay, we've decided we're going to walk because it's a two minute drive, so five minutes. Look, this is also. Somebody's put in English. Walking five minutes. Right, let's go then. Um, we're kind of iffy on that. It's, it's, that's a trust issue thing. I mean, that seems like a really cruel plank. Plank? plank? I cannot talk when I vlog. I'm so bad. It seems like a really good prank to play on tourists when they come here. Like they're like, oh look, somebody's given us some advice. But in reality, it's like a five hour walk. I can't imagine it'd be that far. The guy at the hostel told us when we get off the tram, just go right and it's down there. So I assume it's easy to walk to. But yeah, we'll check out the views on the way through. Hi. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to ask Alex, because I'm not too sure. All I know is there's a Holocaust m Memorial Museum. Alex, would you like to describe a bit more about it? Well, what you've read in your book? I've not read that much about it, to be honest. My history teacher came here. Uh, he went to Israel on a trip like two years ago. He was saying some one of the places he came, he said it was absolutely fantastic. Um, they've got, like, different, they got all the uh, sort of handwritten notes, they've got those different family stories. Um, Lots of personal stuff about how the Holocaust affected people, from what he said. And uh, he said it's somewhere you have to visit if you come here. I'm doing what JD around the world does. Just in case you are watching, JD around the world. Ah, oh, really? Oh, there's like, I know your actual name, but I've forgotten. I'm so sorry. If I remember it, I'll put it a little icon thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've seen the video where you were with Chris and she was taking the mick out of your reveal shots, so I thought I'd, I'd do it as well because it's, I don't know, travel vlog humour.
this has to go away. Sorry. Alright, so I don't know if you can hear me. Um, we've just come out of the Holocaust History Museum. Uh, I can't show you any of that because no photos or anything in there. Um, as of this point, I'm allowed, so I'll show you a bit more around the rest of the museum. Uh, we're not sure where we're going next, but every time we go somewhere, I'll uh, put a little thing saying what it is. Yeah, no, the uh, Holocaust History Museum was intense. Uh, a lot of sad, horrible pictures and stories of what happened. Um, yeah, no, you definitely want to come check it out if you ever come to the museum. Well. It's definitely worth a visit. Right, okay. Um, so right now we're walking down the Avenue of the Righteous. Uh, basically what it is, is there are trees planted and they have signs next to them. And a tree was planted for all the non-Jews who helped out the Jews. You know, whether it was hiding them, feeding them, generally just saving their lives. It's a, it's a nice touch.
Okay. So we've seen a lot. Everything we've seen, you've seen on here. Um, we're gonna walk back to the main entrance now, get our bags, get our stuff and go. It's absolutely scorching out. And yeah, I think we've seen everything we need to see really. There's not a whole lot much more to do. This place is so spread out. We've been here for what, five hours? Yeah, probably more than that. Like, well, about five hours, yeah. Yeah, we've been here for like five hours already. Uh, you can easily spend the whole day here if you want to, if you wanted to come in early. We basically have, haven't we? It's pretty much what we've done. Um, so yeah, we're both pretty tired now and uh, we're going to go back to the entrance. So I'm going to put the camera down while we do that, rest my arm a bit, and then I'll see you once we get our bags back. Fede Kionki, Bartesha. Russia. Sara Tionki, Aceș, Russia. Moise Mikulinski. What? We're going the wrong way. We're not going the wrong way. We're literally we going the, the opposite way. I was trying to explain to Alex that like when yeah. we came. We came from that direction. Oh, we didn't know! <laughs> but we're Where going this way. When we want to go that way, I don't know if it's just my brain or if it's your brain. <laughs> we'll find out. I swear, honestly. We definitely did it. We'll find out. 